Today I'm going to show you how to assemble a custom set of spark plug wires, some tips and tricks along the way, and the tools that I use to get the job done. So let's get started. Now once you do a custom set of spark plug wires, I promise you, you'll never want to go back to a pre-assembled set again. Reason being is the custom fit and custom link that you make your own wire sets will help you route around the things that you have, headers, uh, whether you need, you're trying to go under the uh, exhaust manifolds or under the header, certain route through the valve cover or over the valve cover for a wire loom set, whatever. And there's lots of really good tools to get that job done that make the job really, really easy. Now, some of them are easier than others. Some of them are a little bit more difficult, but certainly more cheaper. And I'm going to show you the two ways that that I've done it and the way I'm currently doing it now. And like I said, once you go this route, I promise you, you'll never want to buy a set of pre-assembled wires again. You'll always want to custom fit these yourself. Now, before I show the tools that I use, I want to show you the two different types of terminal ends that typically come in a custom fit wire set. The first style is what we call a fold over or a single crimp style terminal end. Now this one just has one crimp that goes into the insulation of the uh, of the plug wire and there is no uh, crimp that goes specifically on the wire. This one's just a single crimp, goes into the insulation, the, co the wire is folded over onto the bottom side of the wire, contacts the terminal end, energy transmits through it, and it's done. The dual crimp style terminal end is this one here where there's one crimp that goes in the insulation and another crimp that goes specifically to the wire. Now this one's typically used on the cap side of the, uh, of the equation, but it can be used on the spark plug side of the equation also. So it just really depends on what boot you're using and what end of the wire that you're working with. If you've already got a crimped end on the boot side or on the spark plug side, this is typically going to be on the cap side. Um, if you've got uh, just a universal set that doesn't have either end on it, you can use this on either end of the wire. Now let's talk about the two most common tools to use to crimp the terminal ends. You've got a very inexpensive one that MSD includes in all, a lot of their custom fit sets. Uh, very, very simple. You just create the terminal end that you want, fit it into this little fixture, you clamp it down into a bench top uh, vise, crank it, and it does the crimping for you. It's also got a couple other little features on here. I'm going to show you this one a little bit more in depth here in just a quick second. But as far as cost goes, this one is the cheapest one. It's a little more cumbersome, but it does the job very, very well. The other style is a ratcheting style crimp tool that is a very, very easy tool to use. And once you start using these, this is the reason why you won't ever use anything else but a custom fit set. It's got the fixture that you need on, on it for the crimp, a wire stripper, and then the smaller crimp for the dual terminal crimp. So very, very easy tool to use and I'm going to show you that one here in just a minute too. Now I'm going to show you how to assemble these wires with the MSD tool. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a nice end here so I can show you how to use the, the MSD tool to create and strip back the insulation. Now on this tool there's two different holes here. There's one for an 8 millimeter and one for an 8.5 millimeter wire. So all you do is from this one side feed the wire in make it flush on the other side and then the tool will kind of give you a guide where you can use an exacto knife or a, a regular type of a shop knife or whatever to cut the insulation back now this is fairly simple like i said once you get the wire in there flush just press the wire down in there and then rotate the uh, plug wire around and it will uh, cut the insulation out. Now you may have to play with this a little bit to get a good feel of it, but once you get it all cut, it won't really let you cut down far enough to get into the, the internal wire uh, that transmits the energy in the spark plug wire. You're just cutting the insulation. So it's really, really nice how this is laid out. Makes it very, very simple and very easy to strip the insulation back and on a fold over style terminal end, it gives you the right amount of wire that's out so you can create the proper uh, fold and bend in the wire to create that terminal crimp. 
And once you get the insulation off, then we'll just assemble this terminal end. Now I'm going to use the regular single crimp or the fold over style to show you how this works. Now the easiest way to do this is to kind of assemble it like it is here and make sure you get the right bend in the wire. You don't you want to have a little bit of an arc at the end of it. You don't want to try to pull that thing tight up against there. Giving it a little bit of radius in it will help it to uh, you know not not fray or break or stress the wire. You don't want to do that. You're just trying to get it so it clamps down in there, makes a nice tight crimp and not stresses the wire. You want good contact on the terminal, but you certainly don't want to ruin the wire. So part of what you'll need to do here is you'll need to prepare the terminal end to go up into the die because the die doesn't really have the same uh, type of way to radius the end so it kind of pulls it all in together like the crimping tool does. So again, all you got to do is kind of hold this in there and I'm going to show you what happens when you get this wrong. Now, if you assemble it just the way I did here and not give much of a, um, you know, a thought to it, you're going to screw it up. And I'll show you that here right now. Now let's move to the vise and I'll show you how this tool works. When you separate the two halves, you've got the one that kind of holds a little bit of the wire and the terminal end in place and then the other end of this does the actual crimping. So once you get your vise prepared and opened up uh, to where it needs to be, then lay the wire in there uh, the way it needs to go for the, the this fold over style uh, to get the wire on the bottom side and to get the uh, the correct amount of uh, insulation and terminal or excuse me insulation end into the crimping tool. Now I'm going to show you what this looks like if you don't get it lined up correctly the first time because this is a very easy mistake to make. If you just lay this in the tool, put the other half on there and don't really aren't very careful how you start the crimp on the wire it's going to screw it up. It does it almost exactly the same way every single time. And it's very, very frustrating if you don't get this right. Also, you can see I'm struggling a little bit putting this together. And I'm going to show you in a minute how to, how to handle this and make it right. But the tool will go together if you don't do this right. And it, like I said, it, when you crimp this, you're going to see how it's kind of jacked up in the end and you're not going to assemble these right. So all you do is, is put it in the vise, clamp it down, and then when you release uh, the the tool out of the vise and break the two halves to, apart, you'll see where the screw up is here. Because it wasn't started into the guide to get it into the crimping part, it folded over one end and didn't actually crimp it down on the insulation. Very, very common. This is a very, very common mistake that a lot of people make. And you can fix this a little bit with a, you know, with a pair of pliers and, and maybe a little a hammer or something to kind of tap down into the insulation. But at the end of the day, you're just going to have to cut this off and start over. Now, the correct way to install this terminal end is to give it a little bit of help. So fold the wire over get the terminal end on there where it needs to be so the wire is contacting the terminal end well then take a pair of pliers and crimp them slightly so when you put them into the crimping tool it will hold everything in place now you have to crimp it a little bit to get it started because the way the fixture is here it doesn't really pull the terminal ends together very well but if you crimp it just a little bit and take that little extra step and slide this in here just perfectly when you clamp the two together it will clamp the terminal end properly so put the uh, fixture together put it in the vise clamp it down all the way and when you release it you will have a nice perfectly crimped rolled over terminal end into the insulation that will hold everything together nice and perfectly but you've got to take this little extra step with it with a, a pair of pliers just to crimp it down nice and, and tight uh, so it fits down into the fixture well if you don't do that 
it will roll over like I showed you just a minute ago and you won't get a proper fix on it. So taking that little extra step with it and actually physically putting it down into the fixture is what you're going to do have to do to get this done right every single time. And that's how the MSD tool works. If you take that extra little step and roll the ends over just a little bit so the terminal end fits down into the fixture properly, you will get a good crimp on the terminal end every single time. If you don't and do it incorrectly and you try to pull the thing apart, you will every single time. Um, it, again, it's not complicated, but you have to take a few extra little steps with this tool to make sure that it rolls in there properly. You get it set in there nice and, and, and right before you clamp it down into the vise and actually roll the uh, terminal end over into the insulation. So again, if you do it wrong, you're going to know it right away because it's going to pull apart and, and you're just going to be frustrated with it. That's why this tool is a little more complicated, but the more you use it, the more it becomes fairly easy and you'll get it done right. You just need to take a couple little extra steps and, and it'll be done right every single time. But again, very in, in a, inexpensive tool and it works very well. Now let's talk about this crimping tool. Now this is really where you're going to make your money at when you're trying to assemble a custom set of wires because this tool makes things very, very easy, very easy on the install. So it's got the same type of crimping fixture that the MSD tool had, but it's also got wire strippers and it's also got another smaller crimper, crimper that the MSD tool doesn't have for the dual crimp type terminal end. So it, it's got everything you need. It's a ratcheting type tool, so you can't really screw it up. It'll give you the right amount of pressure and right crimp every single time. You just squeeze it till it releases and you're good to go. So I'm going to show you how to assemble a set of wires with it. Now the crimping tool is nice because it's got the die to crimp it. It's got wire strippers and it's got the other crimper for the smaller dual crimp terminal end. So on the wire stripper, if you're doing a, uh, a, a fold over style or that single crimp, you have to just kind of guess where it needs to be. There's really no gauge on here like there is on the MSD tool. You'll get more of a feel for it, but as long as you've got plenty of wire here, you know, you're not going to screw it up. Just ratchet it down, twist the wire, and it's going to give you the perfect wire strip down to the core every single time. Um, where you're going to be a little off sometimes is sometimes if you don't guesstimate the amount of wire that needs to be out there, you may need to trim that off a little bit with a pair of side cutters. But, you know, for the most part, you're going to get it mostly every single time. You just It's a little bit of repetitive nature on this to get it right. Um, the crimper, though, same type of thing. If you've gotten into the habit of going ahead and just starting the crimp a little bit on the terminal end, you'll get a better assembly when you start to ratchet down the the uh, the the tool so again just like you did on the msd tool fold the wire over lay the wire in there uh, have the insulation sticking out past the end of the crimp just a little bit eighth of an inch at the absolute most hit it with a pair of pliers just to kind of give the crimp a little bit more you know, hold on the wire, but it will, what it's really going to do is it's really going to help assemble everything when you go ahead and crimp it down into the, the fixture here and the die to kind of seed it all together and to assemble the crimp. So once you get it all leveled in there and, and kind of right, then it's just a matter of squeezing it. It'll lock, the tool will lock and it'll ratchet itself down to get the right amount of pressure on it to get the right crimp and you'll get the right crimp every single time with these. That's the nice thing about this tool is it's just enough pressure to roll those ends of the terminal end into the insulation, lock it in there nice and tight, and it's perfect every single time. Where the MSD tool is a little, I would like it to be a little deeper on the roll into the insulation, but the crimping tool just seems to get it right every single time, on a, especially on an 8.5 millimeter 
uh, wire set like these are, which which are most of the, you know, the fast or the MSD or the Taylor wire sets that are out there on the custom sets anyway. So again, just that extra little step. I know it's a, a another little one, but we talked about it being the, the right way to do it on the MSD tool. It's certainly the right way to do it here on this uh, type of terminal end and Again, it turns out perfect every single time. So I'll show you what this looks like on the dual crimp style terminal end as well. So the dual crimp end terminal end is a lot like the, the fold over style, except it's got two different crimps on it. You got one that goes in the install insulation and then a single crimp that holds the wire and connects it to the terminal end. I like this style a little bit better. It feels like it's a little bit more positive, but they both do the job really well. A couple of tips on this style is, is just make sure that you have the wire trimmed properly. You don't need a whole lot sticking out of the uh, uh, stripped back from the insulation, but you do need to make sure that it doesn't uh, interfere or go into the uh, the socket that clips into either to the distributor or onto the spark plug end, whatever. So just verify that. Then you got two crimps to make. I usually make the first one on the wire just to make sure that I got it done correctly. So you have to angle it just a little bit, make sure that the wires push down in there so it gets a good positive uh, connection to the terminal end. Then it's this top first little uh, slot here uh, on the tool that crimps just that, that end of the wire. And then it's the same thing, just ratchet it down. It locks the wire to the, uh, to the terminal end, check it to make sure. Once it's good, you're satisfied with it. You can ratchet down the uh, uh, the terminal or the end on the uh, uh, one that goes into the insulation. So pretty simple, pretty easy. Like I said, I do like this style just a little bit better, but, you know, they both work very well. The tool is the key here, using the right tool. And certainly this uh, this crimping tool just gets it right every single time. And that's the, the nice thing about it. Just does the job really well. So the dual terminal end, I, I think you almost have to use this style. Um, you can use a set of side cutters if you want to, uh, you know, to try to connect that, uh, you know, uh, the wire connection on this dual crimp, but it just, it just isn't good enough. Um, you know, you can, you just can't seem to get the right, you know, lock on the wire. It, this wire tool is the, is the way to do it. So anyway, that's how you assemble the dual crimp style end. So that's the two common ways of attaching terminal ends onto wires, create a custom wire set. Like I said, once you get either one of these tools, uh, especially the, the crimping tool, uh, and do these yourself and create a wire set that's the right length, uh, routed the way you want to without a lot of extra overhang or maybe a little too tight, you'll always do custom wire sets. Does it take just a little bit longer? Yeah, it does, but with the right tool, believe me, it goes very, very well. So anyway, like I said, the MSD little uh, crimping block that comes in the custom wire sets, they're good, um, but certainly not the best, and really they're very limited. They'll do the fold-over style for the most part, very well, but on the uh, dual crimp, uh, you're going to have to figure out another way to crimp the wire uh, to the terminal end. So anyway, uh, I hope you guys got something out of this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, I always appreciate that as well. And uh, we'll be back again with another tech video soon. Thanks, guys. Catch you later.